What is up, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Trittany Adventures. This week, we're doing our kitchen counters. We unbox our sink. We took the little cutout from the sink, and now we're just tracing the line in our counter because we need to cut out this hole, make sure our sink fits before we do any tile work. We just used a jigsaw to cut this out, drilled a little hole to get the blade in there. And as you can see, we got it all cut. Once the hole was cut, we went ahead and dropped the sink in, kind of halfway assembled it and made sure everything fit right. So then we could take it out and move on to tiling the countertops. This sink is a Glacier Bay sink is the brand. And I really love it. It's 33 inches. Came with a little cauldron for washing fruits and vegetables, the cutting board, and the little foldable dish dryer. Here is the faucet. And we just put it into place, get everything kind of set up below and connect it, but yet to where we can still lift the sink out, set it aside while we tile our countertops. Now that it's all put together, we're going to pull it out and start on the tile we started by laying out our tile before we put anything down because we knew with this curved countertop shape we were going to need to make a lot of cuts so we're just mapping it out right now figuring out which tiles we need to cut and yeah to get that perfect curve edge we're going to need on the back there once it's all laid out we went through and traced lines where we needed to cut tiles, um, use a pencil on the top so it can erase off. You can use whatever on the bottom of them. We found that we tried cutting one from the bottom and we tried cutting one from the top just to see the difference. And we got a cleaner cut when we cut from the top. So that's what we did from that point forward. Once we got these all cut, then we took a little sanding stone and filed off any rough edges. Here in the next shot, I show you some of the other awkward cuts we had to make for this uh, yurt curved counter uh, top. But once we got them all cut and laid out, we then took our little spacers and got them all spaced out perfectly before we did any put them down or did anything like that. We removed some backsplash from the back so we could get all the way back there in the areas that we couldn't. And after we Got everything spaced out. We started mixing our mortar to actually start putting them down. Now, when you put tile down, you genuinely want to take all the tile off and then put it back on because it just makes your life easier. But we decided to put each individual tile down because we had so many uh, weird pieces. We didn't want to lose track of where they went and we just wanted to keep everything organized. So we did it by picking each tile up and putting it back down so we didn't lose its place. Here I'm just using my trowel, making sure I get a nice even uh, coat on the back and then laying them down and taking my spacers and putting them in between and getting them nice and spaced out correctly. And then we just do that over and over and over again. Another tip when you're doing this, wear old ratty clothes that you can wipe your hands on you don't care about getting dirty because it will get ruined i made sure to wear um, a shirt i didn't care about and shorts i didn't really care about so there's a little tip and here we are just continuing to place them and we did this all the way across this is the part of the video where i ask you guys to like and subscribe because it means a lot to us also you can follow me on instagram and tiktok at whitney.wildflower now, once we got everything laid, as you can see, it's drying all spaced out. We gave this time to dry before we started on our grout. But as you can see, here it is all spaced out, laid, and we're ready to go. We use this ready to use grout. And as you can see, I just took a clean trowel and started going in my grout lines. Now, I am no expert at this, but I did get better as I went along. You just kind of smoosh it down in the cracks as best as you can and then wipe off the excess. And yeah, that's what you do all the way around. And you want to work in sections because after about 15 to 30 minutes, you want to come back and get a bucket of water and a sponge and start sponging any of the excess off. So here you can see I'm doing the uh, grout 
all the way through and then I'm going to come back through with a clean water bucket and sponge and start sponging the excess off. It doesn't take this stuff long to dry, at least not here in the desert. You can see I do about half of the counter before I stop to do sponging and you'll need to sponge, change your water, sponge, change your water, sponge, change your water. This is a process, trust me. You will come out on the other side with some muscles. Here I am scrubbing and dipping and you don't want your sponge soaking wet. You want to wring it out every time so that it's just barely wet and do it like that so you don't mess anything up. So here you just scrub, 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 scrub. You can see that the excess is coming off and the rest is staying in the grout lines, which is what you want. Once I'm done scrubbing and I get this whole section clean to how I like it and everything's looking good, then I move on to grouting the other half of the counter. Here I am just doing the same thing, smush it into the cracks, letting it sit, and then I can wipe this other half down after about 15 to 30 minutes. And here you can see um, my husband comes in to help me scrub because my arms were feeling like jello at this point. Once we got it all clean, we then moved on to measuring our trim that will go along the edge of the counter. Here we are just measuring the pieces and this will run along the entire edge of the counter. Once we got that up and nailed into place, we did all the other ones and then I went back through with my grout and that little crack in between the tile and the trim, I grout it up to so that it would be seamless. No crumbs would get trapped in there. You could just wipe everything smoothly off the counter. I show a close up of it here so you can see what I'm talking about. You can see as he gets the trim on, I'm just taking that grout, going right around the edge, and then cleaning it up as I go because I don't want any to stick on the trim whatsoever. So I'm just smushing it in and cleaning it instantly. And here it creates this perfect seamless line between the tile and the trim so that no crumbs can get in there. You can just wipe it right off and everything is just beautiful. Then after this, I go in with my grout sealer. This makes it waterproof. So you just spray it into your grout lines, let it soak for about five minutes, then come through, wipe it off, then do it again. I did it three times. It, the bottle only said to do it two. I did it three. And then I came in after letting it dry about five minutes with um, some soapy water and just washed it. And then after that, I tested it to make sure it worked. It was waterproof. It was we were good to go. And here is the end result of our yurt kitchen countertops. I have blue kitchen handles on the way, so it's going to look even better. But yeah, here it is, guys, the finished product. Thanks for watching. And remember, you are loved and you are meant to be on this earth.